Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Alicia and I make beauty videos, fashion videos, vlogs, kind of whatever I feel like right now. My whole channel is a little bit of a mess, just like my life, so welcome. But today's video, we are going to be doing another makeup video, so I'm super excited. I am going to be using and reviewing the new ish Laura Mercier caviar sticks these are the caviar eyeshadow sticks yeah so this product was sent to me through influencer if you guys do not know what influencer is it is a program you can sign up for free and possibly get sent products so that's how I got this whoa <laughs> So that's how I got this super cute package, which I'm so excited to review and use. So when you open up the box, it comes with this little card here. It's kind of like a little campaign card, gives you information about the products and then the three steps to do for Influencer. If you guys want to know more about Influencer, um, let me know and I can do a whole separate video about that. So the card says that Laura Mercier is introducing 12 new bold colorful shades, caviar stick eyeshadow color, and they are a pigmented eyeshadow stick, 12 hour wear, crease, and transfer resistant. So then it goes on to say, it states that they are creamy, have a pigment rich formula. You can smudge, blend, line, fill, or define to create any look. So in the box, they sent me three different shades right here. They sent me raspberry, golden, and plum. So I'm going to be swatching those. Let's go ahead and swatch the first one. first one I'm going to be swatching is raspberry. Here, I'm going to swatch it across my arm. Alright, so there you have the first swatch, as you can tell. It is pigmented and creamy as I apply it. I'm going to go ahead and fill in a box just so it's easier to see. Alright, there you have it. So right off the bat, the formula is both creamy and pigmented. It is not so much of a glitter or sparkle but it does have a nice sheen to it as you can tell it's kind of reflective super pretty i feel like this is more of like a rustic like burnt orangey shade rather than a berry but that might just be me and the lighting in my room i can't really see very well because the ring light is the only light i have on actually I have this side one, which I think is why it's warmer than usual. So let me turn it off. I didn't even realize I had this off. So sorry if the lighting changed. We're just gonna continue and ignore that. Next, I'm gonna swatch golden. Alright, so this one's a little bit harder to see. It kind of blends in really well with my skin tone, but you can definitely see it in person. And again, this is the same formula as the previous one. Very creamy and pigmented. Such a beautiful golden color. And lastly, we have Plum. This actually looks like a super dark shade. Well, that one was definitely the most creamy one out of the three, and it's definitely the most pigmented, as you can tell. So the Plum doesn't have as much of a sheen to it, but it is still such a great shade. I love this dark shade here, and I can't wait to use it. For Plum, it's almost a black but you can definitely tell there's those there's that tone of purple that's super dark so yeah those are the swatches i hope you guys can see them all right this is kind of my first time doing swatches like this so anyway 
me. Okay, moving on to the eye look. So I already have like a really simple base done with concealer, which I realized I did not set. So we're just gonna ignore that and go straight into the eyeshadow. So I was inspired to do this look by Paula on Instagram. I'll leave her information down below for you guys to check out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both berry and golden for this look, using golden for a kind of halo eye, and then using the berry for the inner and outer portion of the eye. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Oh yeah, side note, I'm still trying to figure out my whole setup and lighting situation. I feel like the last video I filmed, the setup wasn't that great. So hopefully this setup is better. I'm hoping it is. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. So yeah. Okay, so first off, I'm going to take that golden shade and just put that on my lid. Since we're doing a halo eye, it doesn't have to be perfect. But that shade is so pretty. I feel like it goes really well with my skin tone right now. I feel like you can definitely go with a very simple look using these eyeshadow sticks. If you just want to do one color on the lid and just one swipe done, totally could do that too. You know me, I love my fun colors and that's what this whole campaign is about, the 12 new bold colors. So I had to go in and do a little look for y'all. So I just plop that on the center of my lid and then right under the lash line. So I'm going to go in with that berry shade now. Focus that on my inner corner. And kind of just blend that into the gold. I love the reflection of this berry shade. It's so pretty. Blending that in with the gold. I'm just going to take my finger and blend it with the gold. These are blending so easily together. I really want to take this out and up. So I'm just going to take it all the way to my brow. And then I'm going to go back in with that gold. Blend that with this. I love how they blend together. I'm also going to bring this on my lower lash line. What I'm going to do to blend this out up here is I actually grab a dark blush. Okay, so I'm going to get a fluffy brush, the M573. I'm going to take a dark blush and blend this out because I actually want it to blend into my blush. I'm just going to bring that down. It's kind of being really patchy right here. I don't know why. Maybe blending it out with my finger was not the way to go. Alright, I kind of love how it's blending into the blush. I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. Originally, I wasn't going to do bronzer, but I think you now that I brought the blush so high up, I do need some bronzer. Just a little bit. See, this is why I don't do winged eyeliner, because I can never get both my eyes to be symmetric. It's fine. 
I'll just show you one side of my face. Okay. Alright, going up, up, up to my brow bone. I feel like when I try to blend it out, it just makes it patchy, which is very weird. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to just throw on some lashes. Okay, for lashes, I'm going in with Velour Secret Weapon. Velour lashes are so easy to put on. They have such a thin band line. And the way they are shaped just fits my eye perfectly. Like, I don't have to spend time shaping them and they're not too stiff so they don't pop off on the corner whenever i put on lashes i like to go in my upper tight line and do black eyeshadow so that's what we're gonna do real quick okay lashes are all last i'm gonna finish off the lips i'm gonna go in with tarte's lip paint and rave I'm going to take this to kind of outline. I'm going to focus that on the outer portion of my lips and then go in with a nude color. This is Nudist from L'Oreal. I'm just going to take my finger and really blend those together. So I'm taking the Tarte Lip Paint, I believe this is the gloss one, and Snap. So really quick to recap, these Le Mercier Caviar Shadow Sticks are so good they are pigmented they are creamy and they are easy to blend together the one thing i would say is that they are harder to blend by themselves like if you use your finger like i did to blend it out i found it to be a little patchy and it was really hard to blend it out with a brush once it had set in place it might have just been me and the technique that i used was not right to blend it out but I did find that a little bit difficult to do. On the other hand, they are super easy to blend together, like what I did with the golden in raspberry shade. Super easy and smooth to blend together. So that I really enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Three, two, one, go.